I was 34 years old. I was in the office of the Fortune 500 company where I was heading the innovations of a $2 billion business. I was wearing my power dress as today I would present the innovation of the year. An idea that would make a difference in the lives of millions of people. And it would bring even more millions of dollars to this company. Ready to shine, I opened the door of the boardroom. But then I walked into a wall of white men in dark suits, busy amongst themselves, except for one who was holding up his cup of coffee for a refill. Well, I didn't came to serve coffee. I came to present the innovation of the year, but not finding a single similar face to mine, I felt there was a stranger who did not belong here. I felt I should swap my power dress for a barista outfit, and the whole situation made me feel insecure, unsatisfied, and lost. And this is a problem, not only for me, but for all women. We still live in a time of patriarchy. Women are mentally exhausted. They've been disproportionately hit by the pandemic. They perform double or triple shifts and they can't bring their whole self to work. 80% of women feel that they're not good enough. 88% feels pressure to be perfect, resulting in our wives, mothers, sisters, and daughters are feeling overwhelmed, insecure, anxious, and mentally trained. History has been written and dictated by man. Males are our heroes, statues are male, street names are male, philosophers, religion, all build according to male rules. Look at chess. The queen has more moves and more power, but you need a king to win the game. How can women stay true to their inherent powers when playing according to male rules. Since the mid 1800s, women are fighting for equal rights and our ancestors didn't fight for nothing. The world has changed. More women than ever are educated. More women than ever are working. More women are getting in top positions in large corporations. Women now have all possibilities. But we didn't remove the old dogmas, the old expectations. 76% associates women with family and men with career. Our age old expectations, we believe men to be assertive and women to be kind. When a woman is assertive, it's experienced as intimidating, aggressive and bossy. When a woman is agreeable and nice, she's seen as less competent than a man. This double bind makes it difficult for women to stand out and it erodes their confidence. So yes, it's amazing to see that now we have female CEOs leading some of the 500 biggest companies in the world, but there's only 13 of them, even though we know that company profits and share performances can be 50% higher with women in the top. And it's amazing to see that women are building their own businesses but only 2.4% of VC money is going to female-led businesses, even though we know by a study by BCG that female-founded companies generate almost more than twice as much for every dollar invested. Women bring a healthy balance to a male community, economic growth, efficiency, and unity. Women are a powerful force for change in the world. And we need women to be able to tap into their inherent powers. Being a woman should be a source of confidence and not an anxiety. The society that was created according to male rules doesn't work anymore. Male supremacy isn't the way forward as everyone benefits when women can be in their full power. With that in mind, isn't it time to change the rules and rewrite the definition of success? Well, guess what? The reality is the rules are not going to change, at least not overnight. So what's the girl to do? Well, let me tell you a different story. When I was reflecting on my life and I realized that I had reached everything I wished for, 
I had a successful career, the perfect husband, a house at the lake, next would be kids. I had ticked all the boxes, but I felt unfulfilled. And I wondered if this was all there was to life. And then I realized these weren't my boxes. Everything I had lived for was according to what society had told me what was right. Everything I had reached, I had pursued, it weren't my dreams, but I thought they were, and I had lived what I thought that was expected from me. I was ready to do anything to make a change, but I had no idea where to start. But then a friend told me about meditation. Now, this is nine years ago, and I had absolutely no idea about what meditation was, but I thought I didn't have much to lose. So I signed up to a meditation retreat in Nepal. To cut you a long story short, I never went to that retreat. Instead, I went paragliding in the Himalayas. A life-changing moment. N not the paragliding on top of the world. The next day, when I was walking through the beautiful landscape of the Himalayas, I'm feeling incredibly happy from the inside, not because of any external circumstances. In fact, I was staying in a hut with a cold shared shower and a wooden bed, but I felt happier than ever before. What I didn't tell you yet is that prior to climbing to the top, I met this Buddhist man who told me about meditation and walking up to 5,500 meters, I solely, solely focused on my breathing. This simple focus on my breath for a couple of days, not being in the past or the future, just being in that moment had given me an intense happiness. And so I wanted more. I visited many retreats and I live with the nuns and monasteries in Myanmar, Japan and Vietnam. And every time I came closer to myself, but I couldn't find a way to build a lasting habit in my day-to-day -day life. I tried different meditation apps, but they didn't help me to build that routine. And none of them were answering my specific needs as a woman. And so I developed my own habit forming meditation app that empowers women with confidence and inner strength through guided meditation tailored toward her needs. For the mom that feels overwhelmed, for the businesswoman that feels insecure about male supremacy. For the pregnant women that feels tired and unsure if she can be the best mom in the world. And for the woman that's entering into menopause and doesn't recognize herself anymore. We use a proven method to make meditation stick. True anchor meditation, we prolong the effect of the meditation and it's empowering women who feel like they can't live up to the pressure they feel in today's world. Who want to feel confident and energized and who are trying to do it all, but not living it all. At Silata, we want her to be ensured that it's okay to be imperfect. That it's okay to some days not be superwoman and to live her life and not someone else's. So to all women, I'm asking you to be part of this change and join our community of strong women that want to, make it, that want to change the rules. And to do so, first bring change to themselves and to their lives. And to all men, I want to ask you to support women for all women, for our daughters and for their daughters. And I can ensure you that the next time I walk into a boardroom, it might still look like a worldwide man. But the difference is now I know that I have the power to choose my way and choose my life. I know I'm not the barista and the reality of that room won't stop me anymore. It did stop me. And it still blocks many women, but that can stop now by something as simple as empowering women to step in their own confidence and remind them physically 
and mentally that no matter how male dominated the world is, she is the queen. And you know, life is like a game of chess. And let's remember that the queen is the most powerful piece on the board. And if we can give her the confidence she needs, she will play checkmate and win the game. And eventually, the rules will change. <laughs>